Here we go. Uh, I thought I was um, prepared for my speech, but I just forgot it anyway. Hey, MDLers, welcome to the world of Korean entertainment. I hope you're all tuning in. Thank you. Today, we'll be showcasing some of the finest actors who've not only captured our hearts with their impressive acting skills, I speak English but also left us in awe with their fluent and excellent English. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be amazed as we introduce the Korean actors who speak English incredibly well. Number 1. Sung Kun Suk Debuting at the age of 10, after being discovered by a talent agent, Kun Suk moved to New Zealand, where he attended Nelson College to learn English in junior high school. Apart from English, he also learned Japanese during the time he spent there. After returning to Korea for a project, the actor rose to greater fame with 2009's You're Beautiful. Learning English abroad opened the door to taking on his first villain role, in which he needed to deliver all his lines in English. In the movie The Case of Ido on Homicide, the same year. I ain't no white trash. I didn't kill him. I don't know what the hell was written there. The actor's impressive performance drew acclaim not only for his exceptional acting skills, but also for his natural and eloquent English. My name is Chan uh, Please watch my drama. He speaks English with great diction and intonation. For the actor's fans, you'll see him later this year in the 2023 drama Decoy. Number 2. Jung Ryo Won it was inevitable for her to adopt the language since her family emigrated to Brisbane, Australia when she was just about 11. Majoring in an international business degree at Griffith University, Rio Won went to Korea as an exchange student and she was discovered on the street. Those who don't know her background might be surprised when they see her speaking English in an interview about her latest project, Woman in the White Car. But I felt very protected, very welcomed. And I felt great shooting with all female characters. It was great. Or in the variety show, Joanna House. Do you know how old we are? And how old am I? 26. Eva. Since she hasn't had many English lines in her previous works, even though she'd mentioned that she had difficulty adapting to Australia, having a life there, it wasn't long until she could communicate flawlessly in English. Number 3. Park and Sok. I'm your brother, whether you like it or not. I came all the way over here because I thought it was important that you should have this. With his breakout performance in the gripping drama, The Penthouse War in Life, Park Han Suk has become a star on the rise, capturing the hearts and minds of fans around the world. But few know that he is one of the actors who immigrated to the U.S. with his family. At just seven years old, Park Han Suk and his family made the move to Long Island, New York, where they were met with a new culture and a foreign language. There, Unsuk gained such a good grasp of English that when he returned to Korea to pursue an acting career at the age of 22, he found it easier to read the scripts in English first. Although it changed opposite over time, his pronunciation remained clear. Would you like to be informed of the future market price? Do you have any apartment complexes that you're curious about? And also his charisma while speaking English in Penthouse also impressed fans. He can speak English without any trace of an accent and with ease. Number 4. Kim Min Ha. I can hear my heart beating right now. I'm, I'm, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pachinko's Young Sunja. Kim Min Ha is one of the actors who proved that one neither immigrated to an English speaking country nor has a non Korean parent to speak English confidently and like a native. As the actress said in an interview, she attained her impeccable English fluency thanks to her parents who wanted their daughter to be an English professor and sent her to three or four English academies and also language training, which also included being an exchange student in the US at the age of nine. It's hard not to be mesmerized by her English when she gave interviews. After after the premiere of the series. When I heard that YJ is going to be the elder Sanja, I was like, oh my god, that's a big thing. I have to be really good. She is able to convey complex ideas and emotions with ease. Number 5. Ryu Jun Yul. The actor is perhaps the most inspiring example for those who don't know how to improve their English without going abroad or taking expensive courses. After the drama Reply 1988, which brought him fame, Junyul and some of his cast appeared on the variety show Youth Over Flowers Africa, in which he could show off his English skill. So I want to use uh, data? Yes. Hi, how are you? Yes, a little bit. And uh, we're looking around the 
Vintuk or uh, Atusha National Park or Suzbelez, uh, Victoria Falls, and uh, drop the car and uh, go back to my country. In the show, the actor was in charge of English, as said in an interview. Back then, his impeccable pronunciation and effortless English speaking skills took everyone by surprise and became a hot topic of discussion. When Jun Yul was asked about his amazing English skill, the actor said he thought English is about the level of getting food and buying things somewhere, and he hasn't learned English professionally. You can catch up with the actor, who hasn't been seen on the small screen for a while, with the drama Money Game later this year. Number 6. Yuteo The star of Netflix's latest Korean romantic series, Love to Hate You, is one of those who is lucky with foreign languages. Tao was born in Germany and went to the US and England to study acting after high school, which caused him to speak both English and German with great fluency and fluidity. Then the film is about this young kid in 81 in Leningrad. And thereby, I feel like he brought, he's a symbol for bringing cultures together. During the pandemic, we shot during the pandemic, so we had like help, like we had to go through training. So we had our like screens yeah. shut off so we don't see each other on screen during the group session. His outstanding command of the English language stands out with his effective communication in interviews about his international projects. The actor also delivered a few lines in English in Love to Hate you flawlessly. I gave it my best, and I just hope that they didn't cut me out. Especially well known for his role in the musical film Leto, he'll be on screen with the series The World's Worst Boy this year. Number 7. Kim Ji Hoon, Money Heist Korea's Denver, actor Kim Ji Hoon turned out to be very decisive when it comes to learning new things. Recently starred in Netflix's Love to Hate You, the actor drew attention and gained praise for his hard work after his learning process was revealed in the popular show I Live Alone. Ji Hoon was seen as a very diligent student. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. I felt liver, liver His curiosity seems to never end, although learning a language at a relatively late age might be seen as a disadvantage for most. Sounds good! He got compliments from his teachers on his accurate pronunciation since Ji Hoon said that he decided to learn not only English but also other languages in case this might bring him diverse roles. We too expect to watch him in a role where he can showcase his skills. Number 8. Kim Yoo Jin, a former idol from one of the first generation K-pop groups. And now a veteran actor, Kim Yoo Jin experienced getting a good grasp of the English language abroad. When she was in elementary school, her family settled in Guam, which is a U.S. island territory. Living there until high school, Eugene used her eye-catching English skill in the drama Creating Destiny. Oh, I took a different flight. So, Hyun, tell me what made you do that. Alex? Yep, it's me. I'm so sorry. A year is not that long. The actress sounded like a natural speaker and has a polished accent. When looking at her excellent English, it must have been hard for her to pretend to be someone who doesn't know English in the drama Penthouse, right? Number 9. Han Hyo Ju I'm a citizen of North Korea and I have origin information for the CIA. Debuting in Hollywood with 2019 series Treadstone, Hyoju is known as trilingual. She can speak Korean, English, and also Japanese well known for her roles in some popular dramas such as Brilliant Legacy, W, and Happiness. The actress learned English with a language coach even before venturing into the Hollywood world. Hyoju has used her ability in some projects, just as in the movie The Beauty Inside. I'm here to see Kim Woo-jin. I thought you stay here. It's hard to miss her smooth diction and confidence while speaking. It's possible to think that perhaps she had just studied those lines. Hyoju is able to communicate flawlessly in English, as we see in interviews, on her preparation process for Treadstone. I'm working very hard. <laughs> I'm really working very hard. I trained five hours a day, stunt training. The other personal training. She expresses herself clearly and effectively in English. For those who miss watching the successful actress, she'll be back with two dramas, Moving and Dominant Species, later this year. Number 10. Song Jun, the model turned actor, is the last one on the list. Born in 1990, Song Jun went to New Zealand and England for studying. When he was in his second year of middle school, the experience gained him a good command of English and very clear pronunciation. Unlike many Korean actors, at the beginning of his career, he landed the role he played as a Korean-American character in the movie Pluto. You know that put your eyes out quickly? You should walk barefoot. Hey Jun, why did you join our school? Well, he's my roommate, so... 
thanks to his language ability. Song Jun received praise from viewers for having the best accent among Korean actors and his native-like fluency. The actor recently appeared in the series Island and will be on screen with season 2 of it and another series named Call It Love. And that brings us to the end of our journey, showcasing the talented Korean actors who have mastered the English language. Let us know in the comments which of these actors has impressed you the most. Thanks for watching, MDLers, and we'll see you next time.